So for today, we're going to be looking at Shards of Galinor. I got asked for it a while ago. I do apologize that I have not been keeping up with the exotic videos, but I do plan to start making them again because my shoulder is feeling a little bit better and a bunch of the stuff that I was doing behind the scenes is already kind of done. So thankfully, I have much more time, which means a lot more exotic videos, uh, a lot more just stuff in general. Also planning to make a second channel for just uh, variety gaming because Believe it or not, playing Destiny 2 nonstop for hours on end for days and weeks and months is terrible for your health. So for the second channel, we're going to have different games and whatnot, like basically what I was doing in this channel, but not be afraid that my analytics will get destroyed because it's already going to be bad trying a variety channel. But that's going to be for more for my mental health than anything else, because again, just playing Destiny 2 nonstop really fucks with me. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. If you guys are interested in the second channel, be patient. I will have it up soon. I am currently still working out some of the things I'm also making. It doesn't matter. I'm just working on it, is what you should know. So other than that, let's get into it. So Shards of Galinor is an interesting exotic. It is from Forsaken. It is... Oh man, this exotic used to be so hated. It still kind of is hated to be fair, but back in the day, it was, it was a menace. Uh, thankfully I still have some content from those days from Forsaken and even before Forsaken, I, I was looking through some of my old footage and I still have stuff from the beta of Destiny 2. So it's pretty wild. I mean, I've been recording since like the tail end of Destiny 1 almost, I think. So I've been recording for a while, but uh, just to show you guys a snippet of what this exotic used to do at its prime I'll have a video up right now showing you for those of you who don't know uh, small history this exotic basically uh, on blade barrage hit I think it is you get uh, increased or not increased you get uh, increased regeneration of your super so it's pretty wild especially like back in the day when it first came out it was actually busted you were able to get like three to four to five supers in one match and it was foul it was super nasty and yeah it was busted i mean to be fair this is still really good in uh in mayhem apparently but yeah that's pretty much what it does the history a little history of it because it, i was actually surprised to see that i still have footage of this exotic way back in the day so it kind of made me happy so let's actually look at the exotic and the ornaments it does have so for the base look of it it's kind of unfortunate that the metal like pieces on the forearm actually don't change color the only pieces that change color on this are at the bottom of like the the hoop I, you guys will see in a minute when i change uh to the shaders but just know that the fo the forearm metal doesn't change color aside from the bottom of the two pieces of the bottom change color and then the shoulder pieces change color as well that's the only thing that really changes color unfortunately uh as for the shader since we're talking about colors you guys will see right now that the echoed anger has the blue steel on the bottom of the iron pieces which is a little weird because why only that piece why not the whole thing i would have much preferred if all of the metal changed color and truth be told i would like the option to toggle the the rust on and off i think that would be really cool because then you could go for a derelict look if you want or you can go for like a newer look even though this metal does look kind of fucked up but still i would have much preferred that control uh as for the other colors i think they're fine i the base look is going to be really hard to make sets with just because uh it doesn't shader well and you also have the added difficulty of the rust there which means you have to go for a derelict look most of the time because if you put this next to pristine pieces it's gonna look weird for the first example set i ended up just going into the derelict look of the arms and decided to go with the descending vex chrome this is one of my favorite shaders if i want to go for an old look like an old metal look because obviously you can see like the rust in the metal which i think is really cool so for the helmet we're using dinosaur mask i think this is the only piece i'm kind of hesitant that I should have used another piece because the diamond spore mask specifically the plate in the front uses the off color of shaders most of the time and I think it would have been better to use a piece that has the main green and rust color because then it would have equaled everything or it would have made it look as a whole piece better I should say for the chest piece reason you like can vest because in combination with calamity rig cloak 
I think it looks super fucking cool. Uh, if you want to, you could probably put a gas mask for the helmet. I think that would look good because of the hoses and whatnot. I think that would look really cool. Make you look like you survived like a nuclear blast and you're just kind of surviving in that outcome or the whatever. I forget what's called. I think that would have been really cool because that's very thematic. But for the boots, we're actually using the Eidolon Pursuant leg guards because uh, it just fits really well for me personally. Uh, the asymmetry really doesn't bother me because the chest piece is all sorts of asymmetry. So it's not that big a deal in my head. Although there are some people who are really picky about it. So I do understand if you're not into it. But overall, I really like this set. Definitely a set that I would be wearing with the default look of it because I already use the chest piece and the cloak for other pieces. So for me, this would be really cool. This set would actually look even better if we had the option to take the hood off because I feel like the hood actually doesn't make the set look cool. If you take the hood off, it looks even better. So like at this point, you could probably put on the helmet from the casual look for the hunters, specifically the Couturier mask. That one would be really good to take off the hood or you can wear the tiger helmet as well. That one also takes off the hood. Overall, I just, I really wish we could take the hood off because I think the cloak looks a lot better without the hood. So hunters, let me know what you guys think. I really like this set. It's one of my more favorite sets that I've made, especially since it has that derelict look, which reminds me of the scavenger set that I made a while ago. I might make a new scavenger set just because we have more pieces in the game, just to see if we can make some something cooler. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. For the first ornament, we're going to be looking at the blue steel ornament. This is one of my favorite ornaments for this exotic because it looks so amazing. I think this is a great example of the ornament actually improving upon the original default look because with this one, you not only have a really cool glow that is unshaderable, unfortunately, but you do have blades, which look really cool and are shaderable. Thank you, Buck. But then you also have the shoulder pieces that don't take too much attention away from the blades, which I think is important. So. Yeah, this is like one of my favorite looks. I always love an ornament that improves upon the default look because I feel like that's just the best way to do it. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's other other things you can do. You can go like out of lay, le out of left turn and just make something that's completely on like doesn't have to look like the original. But for me, I just think that looks a lot better. So as for how it shaders, again, it shaders really well. The only unfortunate part is that the glow underneath the knives do not change color. So you're gonna have to stick with that yellow orange look. There is a little bit of orange in there, but it is unfortunate because I would have liked for them to give us the option to give us a different glow for the shaders. But as long as the metal on the knives and the shoulder pieces change color, I'm not that picky. As for the example set, I actually have two. I'll show you guys one by one just because I don't want to overflow you with information. But the first one is a basic, uh, I, wanna, I don't want to say basic, but it's more of a like reimagining of an old set that I made with this ornament. I'll have the picture up of the old one right now so you guys can see it side by side. It's nothing too crazy. I don't think it's that crazy of a change. It's just that I wanted to normalize it a little bit more. Not only that, use a lot more heavy hunter theme thematic pieces, which for that would be the Masquerade's Cal, which I think is Heavy Hunter. Prodigal Vest is Heavy Hunter as well. It's like the OG chess piece from Destiny 1. And then the Neoterra Kiyot Cloak, which I think is like a prime example of what a Hunter Cloak should look like. The only piece that's not like prime Hunter piece for me is the Empyrean Cartog Cartographer Strides. And that's because I just wanted some glow in there to show the, to show the, like the, the pairing of the Blue Steel and the Cartographer. So that's why I'm using the cartographer. But for me personally, you could probably switch the boots out for something else. I really like this set. I think I would switch out the helmet for something that has a glow if I didn't want to use the cartographer set because I do think the cartographer set is a little too specific and a little too uh, wild looking compared to the other pieces. But again, this is more of a variation of an old set that I made not, not actually a little while ago. Now that I think about it. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you guys like the original or do you guys like the newer one? Let me know in the comments below. For the next one, it's also a variation of a set that I made not too long ago. This one's like actually last season, I think. Yeah, last season. So this one, if you guys saw my new exotics video, I think it was, which I'll have up right now. And you guys will know that this is the Caliban's hand set that I made for that video. And I am just literally just switching the exotics out because I think the arms look amazing with this set. I think the only real problem 
is that the shader on everything aside from the arms are too orangey for the arms. But even then, you could probably start switching out pieces if you want to get that yellow. But I don't personally think it's a problem because underneath that, it looks like lava. So there, uh, there are orange hints as well. Like it's not just yellow. So for me, I don't really mind it too much because if it really, really ma like made me annoyed, then I would probably just switch out the helmet with a black and yellow glow. So that's pretty much it. So again, I didn't want to talk too much about these because our, these are basically sets that I've borrowed from other sets that just fit well, or one specifically is just a newer version of an old set that I made. So hunters, let me know what you guys think. Unfortunately, well, I should say fortunately, there is a third ornament. Unfortunately, I didn't pick it up because I don't, I don't remember why I didn't pick it up. Probably, I don't remember. Either way, I didn't pick it up, unfortunately. I'll have it on the screen right now. It looks so fucking cool. I don't know why I, pick, I didn't pick it up, but if it was silver only, then that would be the explanation because I don't buy from the Eververse store like with silver just because I already give them like a hundred and something dollars for, for actually to be real for beyond light. I gave them like $250 because I got the collector's edition and for Lightfall, I mean, I got the $100, the best one you can get aside from the collector's edition because I just didn't like this collector's edition. So I just feel like I, it's more of an annoyance that I have with Bungie that they charge us so much money for a free to play game free to play quote quote free to play game just to play the new expansion so i don't want to get too deep into it because this is not that type of video but it's just to explain to you why i don't pick up exotic or ornaments uh usually because i'm not going to spend silver on it but that being said i am opening up uh avenues for people to donate if they want to see that ornament specifically so if you guys are interested in it and you guys want to donate at least like a certain ornament or an armor set then let me know in the comments below i do have a patreon i'm working on other things some memberships for the for the channel so that way you guys can do it from here but i have a lot of things planned in the background which is why i've kind of settled down because my patreon is looking really good now so i don't want to bore you guys too much thank you guys for coming to this point and i'll see you guys later